Good morning, Baton Rouge Magnet High School. My name is Presley Ainsworth. And my name is Eli Lavaspear. Welcome to our daily morning broadcast. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, and here are today's morning announcements. NHS Peer Tutoring is now open to all BRMHS students, and sessions will be on tomorrow, November 5th. All tutoring sessions will take place on every Thursday from 4 to 5 p.m. to accommodate those students who take the bus home from campus. Students must sign up by noon on the Wednesday prior to the date they wish to participate. Sign-up sheets and request forms will be posted on the NHS Peer Tutor in Google Classroom. The link for the school classroom is below. Please help us get the word out. Juniors and seniors, this week the School of Art Institute of Chicago, Claremont McKinnish College, Eastern Kentucky University, and University of Michigan are visiting us virtually. Don't forget to register and score if you need a pass to get out of class and if you are virtual. Louisiana State University also has a meeting for parents and students on tomorrow, November 5th at 7 p.m. Fill out the registration link on SCORE or on the VRMHS app. Seniors, please be reminded that you are required to use SCORE. If you not, do not use SCORE, Ms. LeVay has no idea that you are applying somewhere and your applications will be incomplete. If you need any help, reach out to her. Don't forget to join her mind. Now for our VRMHS sports news. The BRMHS cro girls cross country team finished 11th out of 27 teams in Metro Championships this past Saturday, October 31st. Out of 108 female competitors, Annabelle Duvall finished 68th, Olivia Caputo finished 70th, and Victoria Williams finished 85th. Imani George finished 93rd, Adriana De La Fuente finished 94th, and Emma Felton finished 95th. Congratulations, ladies. The BRMHS boys cross country team finished 13th out of 27 teams on Saturday as well. Out of 126 male competitors, Ralston Graves finished 49th, Matthew Luby 50th, Christopher Luby finished 76th, and Ethan Ho finished 91st. Mark Abair finished 97th, Mason Pentes finished 99th, and Benjamin Taylor finished 112th. Congratulations, gentlemen. Congratulations also to cross country junior varsity student Natalie Venkatarman, who placed 8th place overall. Come out and help the boys' soccer team kick off the season as they take on St. Michael's tomorrow at 6 p.m. here at Bulldog Stadium. Tickets are only $2 for students. Go Bulldogs! Now for today's lunch menu. Today we will have chicken nuggets with mashed potatoes, seasoned green beans, fresh matchstick carrots, orange wedges, and a milk of choice. Now for our seven-day forecast brought to you by WBRZ-TV. Looks like today we'll have a high of 76. Thursday we'll have a high of 78 and a low of 48. And on Friday we'll have a high of 80 and a low of 54. Remember Bulldogs to wear your mask at all times, practice social distancing, and wash your hands as often as possible. And please take advantage of the free breakfast every morning in the cafeteria. And please remember to be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Thank you for tuning in to our daily broadcast. Everyone have a great day and Go, go Bulldogs! Bulldogs. Woo.